right. Have you ever woken up in the morning and said like, I could use a few more hours of sleep or I need a recharge or I could use some power right now? Well, I'm here to let you know but well, we got that power right now, and that power is the Holy Spirit. We need to up our game of being involved in helping out our churches. Pentecost style though. That's right, I mean tongues of fire on our heads and speaking languages of the Parthians, Medians, Elamites, Mesopotamians, Judeans, Cappadocians, Pontusians, and Asians. Well, probably got Asian languages covered by a lot of people here. Or maybe we just need to allow ourselves to be more open to the inspirations of the Holy Spirit. Listen to this. I love it. In John 14, 12, very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I have been doing and they will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. That's right. Jesus is saying that when he goes to the Father, it's to our benefit because we will do even greater things than he did on earth. Y'all, that is powerful. It comes from your intimacy with Christ. Can you sit with him in your room, in your prayer time, when you're having conversation with him? How is that going? Are you reading your Bible? Are you reading the word of God? All of this increases and gives you this, this, this gift, this wisdom, and it's a gift that comes from your intimacy with Christ. So let's pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus, we just thank you for this time together. We invite your Holy Spirit into our lives. We receive the power of the Holy Spirit today. Lord, send us out so we can be witnesses to the entire world. In Jesus' name. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.